The final women's golf major of the year, the Evian Championship, is at the halfway stage in France, and South Korea's Inji Chun leads the field by two shots. 22 year old Chun carded six birdies to finish 13 under par after two rounds. England's Charlie Hull made it through to the weekend, but Laura Davis missed the cut. Now, say motorbike and sidecar, you might think Wallace and Gromit in a close shave, or Compo and Nora Bassi in Last of the Summer Wine, or going even further back, Olive in On the Buses. Remember that? But when it comes to sidecar racing these days, the experience couldn't be more different, as I found out yesterday when I joined the pair who lead the British Championship into their latest race alongside the British Superbikes at Donington this weekend. It was never going to be the most comfortable of rides, but this will totally unseat any previous thoughts you had about sidecars. Originally an efficient mode of transport for two, as Wallace and Gromit proved in their close shave. But I'm not sure even the fearless Gromit would have coped with this. But when it comes to sidecar racing, look, there's none of the luxuries that Gromit had there. It's just a... What, a tea tray with a pole? There's no space, is there, really? No, no so what, there's a lot more space. But you're, you're dangling over the side, aren't you, most yeah, of the time? Yeah, might, might scrape the floor, but don't worry about that. <laughs> Ricky and Ryan are British champions and have also beaten the best in the two rounds of the World Championships they raced in last season. And as passengers, surely Ryan is in the most perilous position of any sport, performing gymnastics on the platform at the back at speeds of up to 170 miles per hour, while just holding on with his fingertips and without any fear. Well, of this at least... I'm scared of spiders, there's different types of fear, but speed is not one of them for me. Getting your levers, hang yeah. on to the top of the car, and when you're going down the motorway about 150 miles an hour, and, that, and that's how it feels like. It is a partnership at the end of the day, we don't come together. It's like marriage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't join that together, you're not going to necessarily win races. Indeed, let's see what happened when Ricky did have a, a less experienced passenger in this partnership. The idea, the idea is you kneel, one hand there and one hand round here. Okay? Oh, okay, he's safe. Yeah. This just feels so... That's so fast! It feels so fast! No! Look, Ricky! He can't hear me. It feels so fast, I think, because we're so close to the floor. Insane! Oh, this is insane! In fact, we're only going at around 60 miles per hour. Even so, I was holding on so tightly, I wasn't able to shift my weight and balance like I should have been doing. Well, it's because the pull around the bends takes such a lot of getting used to, even for the best. We've had then, some big crashes, and it's what we both walked away. It tumbles, it hurts, you get what's <laughs> called tarmac rash. <laughs> it felt like I've seized up. This arm was starting to lose grip. I was gripping on so tightly that it started cramping up, and I... I don't know how you did it. Why not, Mike? Ah. You're, you're mad, but brilliant. Is it harder being on the back, do you think? Um, well, I've done both. Yeah. And you won't get me on the back no more. Oh, really? Oh. <laughs> Thanks for telling me that now, right? <laughs> and they do all this with their team just for the love. With next to nothing prize money, they have to have day jobs as well. But before Ricky goes back to carpentry and Ryan to computers, there was a chance to practice their celebration for last time. It's weird, isn't it? And what other motorsport do you have British champions, who could be British champions again, they could probably be world champions if they had the time away from their day jobs to enter, because when they did enter the World Series races last season, they entered two of them, they won both of those. Brilliant. But they don't get any money for it, really. Just a bit of sponsorship, but to pay their own costs. Prize money doesn't cover anything. But they love it, don't they? Yeah, they do it for the love of it. So humble. Danger money, not know, prize exactly. money. <laughs> exactly. And I must mention as well, we're pretty good as a country at this because brothers Ben and Tom Birchall from Mansfield have won the F2 World Championship. They'll get their trophy at Donington today. Well So we, now we know what the brothers from Mansfield go through as well. I think you'd be good at it, Nagga. I'd do we do all strictly moves it. on the back there? That's what you need, basically. Mike, you could barely hold on without getting cramp. How do you think you're going to dance on the back, on the back of that thing? Yeah, but you would, you'd be fine. You'd be relaxed. I'd give it a go. Let's well just, done, we'll, you. We'll say we did it. Once Strictly's over, you can give it a go. <laughs> Next year. Mike, thanks very much. I'll watch. It's uh, quarter to ten.